Hello everyone, it's Akaturius here, and I welcome you to this new video. And today I want to talk to you guys about the Crystal Extra Deck and the choices you can make to replace cards you cannot afford or don't find in your area. So, I have found 30 cards for the Crystal Extra Deck, some which are mandatory, some which are replaceable by other cards, and I want to give you guys some insight in what you can do to just replace cards and play the deck you want, although you cannot play it like you want. Alright, so let's start off with four mandatory cards, which are Crystron Quan decks, Crystron Armatrix, Crystron Gorion Gundrex, and Powered Insectron. It is arguable whether Powered Insectron is mandatory, however, I would not recommend playing this deck without Insectron because if you do, Crystron Rion is just so useless in this deck and you can basically just drop the Rion right out after. Which I wouldn't recommend either because, well, recycling itself and a level 3 non-tuner is always a good thing. You can recycle the Fist Burn or Smiger or whatever, so I would definitely run an exact one. There's no better option for Machine Synchro for this deck, which is level 6, I mean. And Quanix, Amatrix and Quarian Gundrex are pretty much straightforward, they are so much used in this deck. Um, Quandex is the main combo card, Quarian Grandex is the main um, boss monster, and Armatrix is a very good OTK disruptor. So, this is just completely mandatory. Those four cards are a must have in any Crystron decks, in my opinion. For the first card I would put into the deck, if I had to replace a card from the extra deck, it would be Crystron Phoenix. While I really don't like Phoenix because it's so weak to back row, while its actual goal is to remove back row, it is still a pretty decent card, and it can still make the opponent cry a bit. Especially if you play against pe um, people like Malifaux's players or, or something. They really really get hurt by, this, uh, by the Phoenixion, so that is basically a very good option you have to um, replace a card from your extra deck. So now, for the replacements of Ultimaya Zolkin and uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, let's start with Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. This card is definitely very expensive, especially now that all Wind Witches are apparent and hyped up a lot. So what you can do to just um, to just replace Crystal Wing is adding in an Ignis to Prominence with uh, Blasting Draco Slayer. However, this card is only good against Pendulum decks or decks that use the Pendulum engine, like the Symphonic Warrior engine, so I would not recommend this too much. However, you can of course dump both, add one Phoenixion and some other card from this list into your deck, so it is a bit more... Uh, it has its 15 card extra deck it deserves. Next up we've got Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier and this is a not that expensive except if you're like max rarity guy so you have to get the ultimate rare from the Astropic 8 but basically you can just replace it with Mistworm because Mistworm is the same summoning uh, requirements so you can do it with a 2 card Glen Gunder combo which is also used to go for Trishula so you can still have the 2 card combo with the option of going into another card so Mistworm is always a great option if you cannot afford Trishula, in my opinion. Next up we've got Psy from Omega, also a card with a pretty big price tag on it, and I would replace it with a Stardust Spark Rank, because you need a level 8 Synchro sometimes to go um, Goku plus level 3 monster, which is pretty apparent in my opinion. So you get, you need a, a Stardust Spark Rank instead of a Cypher and Omega, because Spark Dragon does something in the opponent's turn by protecting your scales or itself or anything really, and it also helps you like um, stalling a bit if you are out of resources. So this card is pretty, pretty, pretty great, and I would recommend it if you cannot afford the, no the Omega. Next up, we've got Cypher and Mod Zeta as another replacement for level seven synchros in general. If you for example, cannot afford blue, uh, Black Rose cards, but also as a replacement for Omega if you already play the Spark, so you have at least one Psy Frame monster. This is this is also adding another option to the level 7 play, however I wouldn't recommend it too much, but there's one card I would less recommend for 
Actually, two cards I would recommend less for level 7, which are Super Heavy Samurai Ninja Shinobi Yashi and Gungnir Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Those two cards are really not that great in this deck, but they are solid level 7 options if you really cannot afford anything else. But I would actually recommend if you have levels, if you want to go level 7, I would actually recommend Zeta, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, Black Rose Dragon, Ardice Meteor Burst Dragon, or Clearwing Synchro Dragon. Especially Clearwing if you don't run Crystal Wing, so you can still protect the level 5 monsters from targeting effects. So this is a great thing to have. Next up we've got Stardust Warrior and Vermilion Dragon Mech, which are cards you can just generally add to the deck if you don't know what to replace a card with. Would one of these cards are very very great. Stardust Warrior of course being a card which can negate special uh, summons and disrupt your opponent that way. And Vermilion Dragon Mech destroying cards just during your turn sadly. But it banishes the Quandex so you can summon Quandex off the Crystron Impact which can be quite valuable at certain times. Next up, since I already got the ne next 4 from the side deck list, we've got the level 6 Synchro Monsters, which are Manifest Horus and Vulcan the Divine, which are only summonable of Crystron Quandex plus um, Crystron Preziol. However, this can actually occur pretty often if you're playing it, if you're laying your place out to, go to get there. And in this case, I would actually prefer Metaphys Horus, but if you cannot get to Metaphys Horus, Vulcan the Divine is also a pretty great option, because if you summon uh, Crystal Quandex, you already, uh, like, trigger your field spell. So Vulcan the Divine can bounce your field spell and an opponent's card. So you, de you actually don't lose anything, so it's just plus for you. And Metaphys Horus on the other hand is pretty great against DDD because you can just um, negate the face up um, yeah you, you can just negate the face up contract and can basically go further from there and if you also add in a formula synchron you can actually go into crystal wing just from there in the opponent's turn which is very very amazing in my opinion so you can definitely try that so we already start with Formula Synchron and also can add an Exo Synchron, which is way, way more worse to have that, because whether you play um, Synchron Monsters is up to you actually, but however the case, Exo Synchron is very versatile in its level, because you can just run any uh, Synchron tuner in this deck basically, like Junk Synchron or Jet Synchron, Jet Synchron mostly actually, so basically you get, um, wow, wait, let me just, better. So you can actually have a lot more levels in one card, which is, big, which is actually pretty big, but you have to play right with it, but there are some combos with it which are pretty great, which are actually in a video I will link in the description because that is pretty important for the Christmas deck. So Formula Synchron is pretty great because it draws one card and can synchron the opponent's turn and Exo Synchron is pretty great because it can synchron the opponent's turn and is pretty versatile as a level. Now for the Xyz options we have either Cyber Dragon Infinity or eh, plus Cyber Dragon Nova or Norton plus Shark plus Totally Awesome. I personally prefer the Infinity because Infinity is so much better as the Carpentry Toad is. And that is basically the effect. Tree Toad is definitely going to um, tribute itself to negate an effect, so you lose it. Infinity can just pull a card in, so he has more materials, more attack, and stays on the field of negation, which is always a great thing. And yeah, there you have it. Those are my thoughts on 30 cards you can play in the extra deck. I hope this video helped you with deciding what to replace your cards with if you can afford them. And basically, yeah, this was just to help you guys out in deciding what to play. I hope you enjoyed this video, this has been Akutrius and I'm signing out.